Hello and welcome back to Seasons of the Wolf. Right, one mech cave left to check. Bears! Hmm, those are brown bears though. Not exactly enough. No. I still have a bad feeling about... <coughs> the hell was that? <coughs> what the... Ah, skunk shit, they must have heard us. Then why did you lead us so close to that cave? Why did you have to start arguing in front of the bears? Look, it's coming. Hello, pretty. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, we're going to this fight with no bloody uh, mana or stamina or whatever the hell you call it. Oh god, this is going to hurt. Quick, throw some axes at it. Thirty points. Not enough. God. <laughs> Heal him. Okay, it's bleeding. So it's losing eight HP a turn, which is good. No dear. Okay, this fight's not going as badly as it could have. Oh god. <laughs> I love the fact that it has an attack called Bear Hug. <laughs> That's wonderful. And kill it. All right, anybody injured? Polar bear is down. Ruined pelt, pelt. <sighs> See, I told you we'd make it together. Yeah, but I definitely don't want to do this again. Look there. W what? That's not a young bear. That is a young bear. But no longer a bear kid, more like a bear youngster. Uh, in any case, it's not too big for the net. Whoa, it's strong. What did you expect? It's a bear! Uh, guys, I need some help. Coming! Right, it's working. We can keep it snared like that. Yeah, but... Uh, we can't move it. It'll break free. Shay? Yes, Althea? It's no use. Kill it. Quickly. Alright. Wait, no. But, look, we can pin it down here. It's not getting out, and it's going nowhere while we have it. But if you can't move it, run to the Dungarians, tell them we've caught a wild bear for them, and lead them here so they can pick it up. Are you sure that's a good idea? Why? Do you really think we won't be able to hold a net until your brother returns? Well, it's not it. Well, can you hold out, Althea? Sure, Phelus and I are strong enough. But I'll hurry. Well, that went exceptionally fine, didn't it? Hey, it's not my fault. You were the expert on bears, and you said there'd be a bear cub. The bear mother did have a child. It just must have been born a year ago, by the looks of it. And you couldn't have known that? Where from? From your vast encyclopedic knowledge of bears. Well, at least I know something. What? Big bears are more valuable than the small ones. Oh, so it's actually a good thing that you were wrong. That's what I'm... Help! What? Brother? That sounded like... Help me! Shay! I let the net go and ran off towards my brother's voice. Wait, Althea, you can't... Oh, skunk shit. Valus followed me, letting the young bear run off into the forest. Whoa, what the... Althea, help! They want to kill me! What? This one over there murdered our master of coin, and for that he must pay. Shay? I didn't do anything, you must believe me. This man was dead when I came here. My brother doesn't lie. Lower your weapons. We will not. This crime must be punished. You will not lay a finger on Shay, and if you try, you will be punished. Our laws demand it. There is no alternative. There is always an alternative. You just may not like it. Yeah, the alternative is that we killed you. What do you say to that? 
Is this the hospitality of the Icelands? Is this how visitors to your country are treated? It's how you slaveholders deserve to be treated. Stop it right there! Father! Shay, Althea, put your weapons down now. But father... NOW! Moran, you can't. And you had better go, Valus. I'm certain my children wouldn't be in trouble if it wasn't for you, am I right? Yes, you are, Moran, but... Then get going. These are my children and I'll take care of them. I'm sorry. It's okay. I am the father of these two. What happened here? That one murdered this man. The master of coin of our people lies dead, slain by someone of this land. That's wrong. The man on the ground wasn't killed by anything on two legs. An animal pounced on him, tore out his throat. No, you are mistaken, father of murderer. We saw this one kill our master of coin. That's not true. He was dead when I came here. We saw you slit his throat. I slit open his collar to see how bad the wound was. I am telling you, this is no knife wound. That's the sort of wound animal fangs do. Probably a wolf. That is impossible. Wolves don't attack men unless provoked, and our master of coin is no hunter. Hmm, that is right. But if it was a rabid wolf, or the real wolf felt somehow endangered by your unfortunate friend? Wait, it is possible that there was a wolf who did this. Huh? Althea keeps a wolf in her old shack. Maybe he got loose and... What?! Shay? Well, it's true, isn't it? Althea, did you... Did you really... Wait here. Shay. Althea, sorry, but they're framing me for murder. I had to say something. You agreed not to tell father. And let those people kill me? The shack is open. The door's unhinged. It looks as though something did break out of there. See? It's true. It must have been the wolf. Then the other one is responsible for the death of our master of coin. The wolf belonged to her. Whoa. What? You plan to kill her now? Because she was too young and inexperienced to properly tame a wild animal? No, our laws do not demand that she be killed. Uh, they demand she becomes a slave to the Grand Mogul. What? You can't do that. Those are the laws of our people. But this is not your country. We have laws of our own. And what do your laws demand? That you are compensated for the loss of your man, in valuables. That would be acceptable. Good. We demand twice his weight in gold. What? That's insane! Shut up, Shay. That is the price we demand. You'll not find this much gold in all of Nimin. This town isn't rich. But that is how much he is worth. He is the Grand Mogul's cousin, and the Grand Mogul won't settle for less. Look, if there's an accusation against me, I demand a fair trial before the Council. That's my right. Unacceptable. You remain in our custody until proper compensation has been paid. Alright. What? Father? Shut up, Althea. Your brother will inform the council about what has happened here. Now! Father, go! You are free to take Althea with you. As long as you treat her well, I will not stop you. Agreed. Father, why? You brought this upon yourself, Althea. Now live with the consequences. The Dingarians didn't waste any time. They bound me and took me to their camp, where they put me in one of their tents the grim-looking man to watch over me. I could only hope that Shay was able to convince the council to act quickly. I wasn't sure I would remain unharmed while in the custody of these slaveholders. My father seemed to have been confident they were the, that they would not mistreat me, and I usually trusted his judgement, but this time? This time something was different. He had somehow looked pleased to see the Dingarans take me with them. Pleased to see me punished. Punished for not telling about the wolf, maybe. I couldn't understand it. I'd always been a good child, and now, the first time I'd disappointed father, he would immediately abandon me, leave me to a group of foreigners? But what hurt most was what Shay had done. Why would he wrap me out like that? I trusted him about the wolf. Now to save his own skin, he'd thrown me to the wolves, so to speak. In any case, all I could do was wait for something to happen, for someone to appear and tell me that I was allowed to go, and that the council had negotiated a solution to this mess. Night came, and nothing happened. Then the next day came, and still nothing happened, except for a slave bringing me something to drink in the morning. And in the afternoon. You will let me see her. That sounded like... Out of my way, your master's agreed. Our orders are to... Where are your manners, guard? This man is one of our most gracious hosts. We treat him with the proper respect. I beg your forgiveness, master of pits. 
Thank you. A pleasure. Captain Denaris. Althea, are they treating you well? Uh, yes, Captain Denaris. Uh, I'm glad to see you. So what's going on? When will the Council hold my trial? I'm afraid there won't be a trial, Althea. Huh? The situation is... tricky. Please let me try to explain. Yes? You need to understand that this man who died, he was very important to the Dingarians. He was a relative of someone called the Grand Mogul, who's he's something like a king for the Dingarians. The veil has already told me about them. I also understand that this Master Coin was a powerful and influential man. And it was your wolf who killed him, wasn't it? Please tell me, I need to know if it's true. It is, sort of. Sort of? I was taking care of the wolf, yes, but it wasn't really my wolf. I wasn't listening to my commands yet. I still had to keep it locked up so it wouldn't run away. So really it was your responsibility to make sure the wolf was no danger to anyone. The wolf was no danger to anyone. It could never have broken free from that shack. But it did. I... I honestly don't know how this could have happened. The wolf was hardly strong enough to do that. But you understand how all this must look to the council, don't you? Well, yes, yeah, sort of. And this is where it becomes tricky. You see, the Dingarian caravans are very important for Nimmin. There are literally no other merchants that travel this far north. We have no other way of obtaining goods that we cannot produce ourselves. For example, without Dingaria, we wouldn't have any decent iron tools. And you know what we were never able to successfully mine for iron, don't you? Sure I do. Fact is, by the laws of this land, if an accident like the one with your wolf happens, you would have to compensate the family of your victim, usually by paying money. It can also be goods, or the fruits of your work, but it has to be enough to support the family of the victim, even though they have lost one of their own. The Dingarians have different laws, but the accident with your wolf happened on our soil, so we have the right to apply our laws, not theirs. So? The problem is, if we do that, there's a good chance this trade caravan to Nimmin was the last. Oh. The Dungarians have made it quite clear that if we don't allow them to judge you by their traditions, they will not be coming back to Nimmin. Since yesterday, the Council has been debating this situation. They've carefully considered all options regarding you and your fate, and now they've sent me to inform you of their decision. They have agreed to leave you to Dungarian justice. What? No! I'm afraid I don't have better news for you. But this means they're going to make me a slave. Yes. I've heard of this practice. But, 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 but the council can't condone this. They can't allow the Dungarians to enslave any of us. That's what I said before the council as well. I tried to convince them that they have a responsibility towards each and every citizen of Nimmin. But... But? But there were too many who said you weren't really a citizen of Nimmin. You need to understand, Althea. There is still great resentment against your father in this town. Many see you as more of your father's arm in Nimmin, unless of the child of the woman they all loved. So you're saying Nimmin thinks they would be better off without me? Not everybody does, but enough people in the council do, and I'm afraid that was enough for them to condemn you to this fate. So they're sacrificing me for the greater good of Nimmin. That's what they'll be telling everyone else. I'm really sorry, Althea. I tried to speak out for you. I know you have a good heart, but this is the Council's decision, and I must follow it. I understand. Good. My father and brother, will they suffer any consequences? No, none. The, the Dingarians only want you. I see. Well, then this is goodbye, Althea. All I can do is pray you will one day find your freedom again. Thank you, Captain Doronus. Just Doronus is fine. And then I was alone again, or at least almost alone, and definitely without hope. For not for long. If it pleases you, Master. It does. Hmm? Hmm. You don't look half as scrawny as the others to prescribe to you. Can you by any means fight? Eh, don't worry, Elf, I won't hurt you. Not yet. You belong to the Grand Mogul, and not to my Master Yeldin. I'm not allowed to damage you. Though I might recommend you to my master. He expects me to bring some wild animals for the arena anyway, and you could be a nice exotic addition. 
find out yourself. I'm not helping you slaveholders. Oh, so you think you're better than me. <laughs> Amusing. Yeah, I know. From your point of view, I'm a slave. So I should probably be kissing the ground you walk on, right? No, not at all. We're no different, you see. Huh? I am a slave as well. But the others listen to you. My master, Yeldon, owner of the great Arena of Dingaria, has sent me with this caravan to conduct business in his name. But just as he owns the arena, he also owns me. But if you're a slave and no one's watching you, why are you not running away? <laughs> oh, you're a really funny elf. You probably think being a slave is a terrible, terrible fate, eh? Well, here's a little secret for you. It doesn't need to be. But you'll find that out soon enough, Elf. As soon as my master has bought you from the Grand Mogul. Huh? But you still don't know whether I can fight or not. Ah, you have quite some fighting spirit within you if you can talk back like you do. And that's at least half of what you need to be useful in the arena. As for the other half, well, I'll find that out sooner or later. I always do. With a grin that sent shivers down my spine, the strange man left. And I could only wonder what he had meant with his words. Evening fell, and for the first time since I'd been brought here, some would offer me food and even untied my hands so that I could eat, but I was bound again afterwards. By then, I had almost accepted my fate, so I was going into slavery. The council wouldn't lift a finger to help me, I couldn't expect my own father to do anything. And the worst thing was that it had been Shay, of all people who had brought this upon me, my own twin brother. I had been truly forsaken. With those dark thoughts in my mind, I went to sleep, and at least I was safe from that wicked-looking man with his whip for now. Hopefully that wouldn't change too soon. However, that night... Psst! Althea, wake up! Hmm? Quiet, wake up! What? Surprise. But... We couldn't leave you hanging, sister. Quick, come! Valus stepped behind me and cut the ropes that bound me. The Degarians, they're gonna come after us! We'll hide in the forest. We know it better than they do, and they'll never find us. Well, at least not until I have to go again. But the council... To the abyss with the council. I think they'd sacrifice you just to make sure they stay comfy and do in silk makes me sick. But... Can we please talk later? We need to get away now. Yes, you're right. Let's go. There they are. Those must be the people who knocked out the guards. Uh-oh. Quick, here. Take your weapons, Althea. We must try breaking through their lines. Several waves of enemies, you'll be healed by 5%. You might want to save now. Thanks for the hit. Blah, the hit. Thanks for the hint. Waves of guards. Okay. Confirm the party formation. Spread out in ways that are going to be annoying to try and deal with. Okay. Haven't you had enough Take that yet? one out with ice. Hit that one with decent damage. That one with decent damage. Possibly should put him into defensive mode, but no, she can kill that one. I really don't want Hit that one with ice. Take him out. I must have underestimated my own power. Kill him. I'm deliberately keeping back Valus's attacks because or his uh, throwing axes rather because they're very very useful but he can only do a few of them at a time the rest of them are much better at uh, throwing out lots of attacks particularly Shea since I've really upgraded his mana pool Valus is still stunned, so defend again. And take him out of here. So we win. Can we just go now? Standard sword of ice. Cool. Common wispy short bow. Okay. Uh oh, more her incoming. Okay, confirm the party. Hmm. Okay, should the really should the block Shay hit you. that front one with ice? That back guy. Ok, 
Okay, take that one out. Get some throwing axes. Oh boy. Heal up playlist. Okay, he's temporarily stunned, so... Is he? Didn't think he was. Hmm. For whatever reason, he can't uh, use his leaping attack on that one. He can on that one. Ah, leaps to a staggered character. Right, okay. Activate your avoidance. Should reduce the damage you take. Kill him. Hit him for a little bit of damage. Aha! Valus is doing very well at the moment. And Althea should be able to finish that guy. Got to be getting close to uh, leveling up again, I would have thought. We live to see another day. Okay, that's two Good. waves down. Regular sword. Look out! They're attacking from the side. Okay. Aha! Three bowmen. Excellent. That's an enemy group I can dig my teeth into. Specifically, mark them. As soon as she gets a shot, I'm going to drop a volley on them, which might actually be enough to kill them. Hmm. Might be enough to kill the... It's going to kill the central guy, and it's going to severely weaken the other two. Which is pretty useful. Oh boy, Velus is getting pummeled again, so let's heal him up some more. Take out that guy. Oh god damn it, one health. Oops, okay, fast strike. Right, Hopefully there won't be too many more waves. Regular Sword of the Inferno. On low and short but okay. This looks like the last group of them. Okay, one more group. Bunch of swordsmen in the front row. Shay, take out that bowman. Mark them. Throwing axes on that guy. Okay. Get that guy. Damn it, I was hoping there'd be enough for a uh, volley, but oh well. Oh great, he's stunned. Got a defense. Okay, focus everything on the guy in the center. Well done. Okay, he's dead. Uh, let's focus everything on the guy at the bottom now. Probably should have Valus drink a health potion, I think. Enough with the stunning. <laughs> it's mildly irritating. Hit. Okay, he's out of it, which means we've only got one left to deal with. Well, I've got to say, if the uh, pit master was concerned about us having a suitable amount of fighting spirit, we've now taken out, what, 16 guards and the like that? Which I think demonstrates that we are pretty able fighters.
because let's face it, the official uh, sword manual written by oh, which one was that? Uh, I think it's Fiore's manual of a sword combat is the one that basically says he can be reasonably confident of standing his ground against four opponents any more than that and there's no dishonor in running I think we have taken I think we have them on the run quick now before they regroup I don't think so that's only one man run him over famous last words chapter 7 he's only one man he can't harm us oh. Oh. <gasps> my deepest thanks for answering my plea for help on such a short notice, Master Yeldin. Hmm, you should have easily been able to deal with these three yourself. I probably could have, Master, but I did not have the authority. Uh, you, however, have. So, what do you suggest we do with them? You see how all three of them can fight. Wouldn't you say that they are an appropriate addition to your arena? I sent you here to find me wild animals, not elves. As I said, Master, you've seen them fight. Do you not find them properly ferocious? Do they not look properly exotic? Mm. Mm. Well, why not? These two tried stealing slaves from their rightful owner, so they are now slaves to Rafik themselves. And seeing how you protected the Grand Mogul's property, he is sure to make you a good price for the three of them. Yes, I like that. I think I shall bid for them as soon as the caravan's back in the city. Your wisdom shines like a beacon, Master. And your wit as quickly as your whip. I shall see you are properly rewarded. Thank you, my master. Act 2. Spring. And that's how we all ended up here. <laughs> right. That is the point at which the beta version that I have played ends. So that's as far as I've seen up to before. So that to me seems like a very good point to end this video and say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next part when we head into Act 2.